The weather so far this year has really made it tough for farmers trying to grow cotton. First alert meteorologist Pierce Legion headed to Jones County to check in on this year's crop. It's been a tough year for cotton right from the start. We would like you know, warm temperatures, sunshiny days, and there was very few of those uh, in May. So the crop did eventually come up, but it um, germinated very slowly, and then once it did germinate, it grew very slowly. Growth has picked up, but farmers are still concerned. Weak cotton prices and a wet spring have led to a 20 to 30 percent decline in acres planted this year. Those farmers hope the recent turn in the weather sticks around. Hotter weather and recent rain have helped this year's slow growing cotton crop here across the east. Now this field here in Jones County is in bloom right now as it should be, but many others in the east are falling behind schedule. We would have liked there to be a lot more blooms on it by now or squares, which would eventually turn into blooms. And so the bloom period is about eight weeks for a cotton crop. The next eight weeks will be crucial to the success of this year's crop. Morgan says cotton needs two weeks of warm, moist weather within the eight week bloom period. But with things pushed back this year, an early frost could be disastrous. If it frost, say the beginning of the first part of uh, October, or even possibly in the into September, if we have a really early hard frost, that could really cut down on the, uh, the production. With the low price on cotton, a good yield will be crucial for this year's crop to be a moneymaker. In Jones County, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side. Cotton is typically harvested in late October, early November. Last year, farmers battled wet weather during that harvest. And they're hoping for a drier end to the season this year.